Good morning, SMF MMTs. This is the open gap open up. And once again, we got the New York Stock Exchange for 60% of the program. We got the Caterpillar. Now, remember that within the bull rally, the prior two weeks, this is the third week of that summer bull rally. And it's a monthly options expiration. Everything is put on hold. Volatility increases. It is Wednesday. We talked about Wednesday before Wednesday got here and how you would have a counter gap on the opening bell. And you can see the counter gaps. But you know on Monday that you didn't even have a gap open on the NYC. You may have had one. And what qualifies for a gap at SMF is 1.00 ratio or higher. Okay. Uh, what we'll be looking at today is Mr. Mantock will be, uh, uh, so Mr. Beard will probably be on CF. Mr. Mantock will be probably watching Caterpillar with some gaps. They had made an overbought cycle in most of the equities from the summer rally. They needed to pull back. Rallies need to pull back. Now that they are pulling back, one of the key factors is that when they get up there at that upper resistance level in the overall rally ranges, that means the weekly ranges, is if the buyer's not there, then they're going to come down. And how do I learn at various different times to sell pre-market gaps and why? Well, you're at a full-fledged earnings season right now. JP Morgan reports tomorrow. Google reports tomorrow after the close. One thing about the earnings season, if, if, if companies can beat the bottom line consistently, then the bull rally, summer bull rally, will continue to go higher because the market is looking for good news. The bull is looking for good news outside of the contagions around the world. Ireland, Greece, now Italy, Spain is next, Portugal. All of those things are set aside right now. Even your Obama administration is all set aside right now. Mr. Bernanke is going to be talking before the House this morning on some hearings about the slowdown, the weaker unemployment. It's all on hold. It's on hold for a couple more days. If U.S. publicly traded companies can beat their bottom line, but the data suggests that the last 90 days that they're going to report from is we had a contraction in growth in GDP. Therefore, we are looking for more of a cautionary outlook. But once again, we'll be looking for value and good trading stocks. In the NYSE, we trade these every single day. We like Cummings. You got to be on that CMI trade. You got to be on that CF trade. You got to be on that CAT trade. You've got to be on that Salesforce CRM trade. You've got to know that CMG has sold down from 329 because that is probably the most overbought stock in the New York Stock Exchange and probably the most overbought stock on a monthly level and a week a monthly level than any stock out here. And remember, they're all going to report their public earnings. When they get up toward the resistance levels in these names, we're going to look at how they pull back to that support level, either at a double bottom or slightly higher than the previous lows, and how they set up with buy action bars immediately to make that transaction. The distribution bar on the gap is to sell the gap for the pullback. What they have been doing, as you've been taught, when the markets are overbought in pre-market, they gap up. But as you know, in all this week, and it happened last week, is that stocks would sell from the top down. From their high, they would pull back. They would sell down. Versus early in the bull rally, they would hit support and just keep ripping and keep ripping and keep ripping. So when we're over overbought processes and in individual names, we still look for those culprits to be the same. This is the gap open up. It's not too bad of a, it's not the greatest thing in the world, but it is a gap. They're going to gap it, and then they're going to sell the call contracts. And call contracts will be going through a lot of them. Uh, here's your gap down list. It's very minimal. That concludes the New York Stock Exchange options volatility pricing the gap open up uh, across the indexes. 
We've got uh, gold is up $16. Shouldn't be. If the, hey, if this bull was real good, there's no need for gold to be up that high because people are buying that because of the euro, the euro zone. And the thing about it is they find it. China came out with 9.5% GDP growth. That gave us a tone. Dow futures are up 43. S&P futures at 13.16, right about their 50-day moving average at 5.40 ratio gap. The NASDAQ futures, which we already covered, are up 14.5, 14.8 right now gap ratio. Stocks do not have buyers to the gap because it's an options volatility and an earnings season. The buyers have been absent. They've been more on a wait and see on a sideline approach. Okay? Just remember that 70% of the high frequency volume is done by high frequency machines. They're not done by humans that are really in the transaction tape. Trade management has been given this very day, this very Wednesday morning. 7-13-2011.